me the treasure on your island, Mr. Van Coconut. <laughs> Ahoy, and welcome to Artifact, the show that proves you don't need to be an expert to be a great pirate. <laughs> I'm an artist. Today we will explore in exciting adventures of pirates and princesses. Discover art treasures like these. An art piece to stage mysterious stories. A great design that will take you through the exciting adventures of the seven seas. A secret to make your drawings shine. An original way to store your photographs. And the brilliant contributions of our eco-artist, Vincent Van Coconut. Land ahoy! We have arrived, my princess. Oh my, this island is beautiful. I think it's perfect to build our castle. Ah, but my princess, we cannot build the castle just yet. I need to find the treasure. Oh, okay then, my pirate prince. You shall go and find the treasure while I wait right here on this island. Okay, be careful now. La 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 la. Wow, I think I can build my rose garden here and here. La 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 la. <laughs> you, princess, shall now remain as my prisoner. Oh no! Do you want to know how this story ends? You can make up a surprise ending. You just have to learn how to project silhouettes onto a slightly see-through screen that lets in a little light and create your own shadow stage. You will have to place a lamp behind it and switch it on. The first thing you will need is a shoebox. Remove the lid because you won't be needing it and will only be working with this part. Watch how it's done. To make the shadow stage, turn the box over and work on the bottom. Use a long ruler to draw four lines around the box to create a frame. You will then have a rectangle. Cut it out. Now, paint the outside of the box. Here it's blue because it's the best color to represent a play about adventures at sea. Then, paint the inside of the box black. Once the paint has dried, Copy the outline of the bottom of the box on a piece of tracing paper that will become your screen. Cut it out and glue it inside at the bottom of the box, like this. Pay careful attention. Press down with your fingers to make sure it sticks well. Now that you have the stage with the tracing paper as your screen, you have to design the setting where your story will take place. And what could be better than a deserted island for a pirate adventure? Now have a look. It's very easy. Draw some palm trees on a piece of cardboard. Then draw a curved line like this to create the island. Now draw details like these inside the palms. Carefully cut out the island and the inside of each palm. It should look like this. Paint the whole drawing black on both sides to stop light from passing through. Use a clear green plastic sheet to make the palm tree leaves. First, trace the outlines of the leaves with a marker. Cut them out. They should look like this. Now, put some glue on the back of the leaf and stick the clear green plastic sheet cutouts on like this. Turn the island around and look! Our theatre is already taking shape. The island looks great. Now, we are going to make some waves. To do so, take a black marker and draw wavy lines on a clear blue plastic sheet like this one. Draw wavy lines for the water and repeat the shape higher up. And when you cut them out, they will look like this. Now, when you join the pieces together, they will look like waves. And let's put our island together with these magnificent waves. 
Pour some glue in one of the corners inside the box in order to attach our island. Add glue here and stick on one of the clear blue waves we made earlier. To create the effect of the movement of the sea, you have to stick the second wave over the first. But make sure that the crests of the two waves don't coincide. It will look awesome. Now you have the island and the ocean waves. The water will look incredible once you project the light. You'll see. The last thing left is the most important, the characters. You should draw them on black cardboard so that the light you project doesn't shine through. To give them movement, attach wooden skewers to the back of them with tape, like this. Now you can give them movement and tell the story. But watch. If you move the characters closer to the light, the shadows will become bigger and blurred. But if you move them closer to the screen, the silhouettes will appear sharper and smaller. Get it? Let's continue with our story then. Music, sound of the waves, actors on stage, ready? Uh-huh. Action! Ah! Stay away from me, you evil pirate! My dearest princess, look! I found a treasure! Treasure! Help, my prince, help! You, evil pirate Pegleg, stay away from her! <laughs> Give me the treasure! or I'll take her away. Never. You're no match for me. Take this. Here. Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> What's that? Where? Hmm? <laughs> Stop fighting, you humans. The treasure doesn't belong to you. It belongs with us on our planet. So I'm taking it back. Thank you, and bye-bye. Ha, ha, ha. Now it's your turn. Design your own shadow stage, create characters, and make up the most marvelous settings for tales of pirates and princesses ever told. <laughs> Hello, I'm Vincent Van Coconut, Auditech's eco-artist pirate. Can you remember how to build a shadow stage? Let's watch again. Cut out a rectangle on the bottom of a box and paint it on the outside and on the inside. Then, stick a piece of tracing paper inside. For the stage design, draw an island with two palm trees. Cut it out and paint it black. Copy the leaves over a clear green plastic sheet. Cut them out and glue them on the back. Glue the island on one side of the stage. Create two sets of waves with a clear blue plastic sheet. Finally, create characters using black cardboard and give them movement with wooden skewers taped to their backs. Like any clever pirate, I found the island's treasure. Do you want to know what is in the chest? Precious seeds from my island. I planted the seeds and more coconut trees have already grown. Plant some trees. They are one of our planet's most precious treasures. As you know, Alex is an unusual artist. And that's how he discovered a true treasure the other day in the least expected place. And what he saw inspired him so much that right then and there he had an idea for a giant art piece. Guess what he made and what he used these compasses for. Let's see. But this idea, this is a big art attack. You know this thing, Judy, guess what he is? Let's see. I know he 
in search of a great adventure. Are you able to guess where he placed the compasses? Well, let's see. He seems a little lost. Let's see what he's doing with them. Ah, of course. They are the buttons of the vest. Great idea, Alex. When we see a magical object or character appear in a movie, we recognize them as magical because they sparkle and shine. Would you like to do the same in your drawings? Look, here's a drawing of a slipper on black cardboard. <gasps> but I want it to look dazzling because it belongs to a princess. So we need to transform it for it to look like a royal slipper. Let's give it that touch of magic. And this is how. Take a thin paintbrush, dip it in white paint and moisten it with water. This will make the slipper look real. Use long brush strokes. The idea is that some parts end up whiter than others. Add more white paint to some of the edges. Let's paint the bow too. Finally, wet the brush and make wavy brush strokes around the slipper. This is to create a feel of magic and mystery around the slipper. Wow! See how different it looks with just a few brush Whoa. strokes of white paint? It looks like crystal now. But in order for the slipper to truly shine, it still needs a few magic touches. Let's see what comes next. Take two pieces of paper and place them next to each other, leaving a space in between them. Color in the space with a white crayon. Then smear it sideways using your finger. See how the white becomes less bright? Now slide one piece of paper up a bit and draw a line. Then smear it a little like this. Do the same thing here. Take the piece of paper, 
but this time across the line we drew before. Repeat the technique. Color and smear with your fingers. We'll make a smaller one on the bow. Use the pieces of paper to draw cross lines. Then smear them with your fingers. Finally, make small sparkles in different places but without using the pieces of paper. Very good! Can I guess what he is? It's so said that... the sparkles of light, put some glue along the outline of the slipper. Now add little drops, like this. As a final touch, sprinkle silver glitter over the areas where you added the drops of glue. Once it has dried, remove the excess. And there you have it! Now it's take another paintbrush, dip it in water, and using white paint, make small dots in different places. I know this one! See how shiny it looks? It's slither at a class seven. This crystal slipper really sparkles and shines. Now it is fit for a princess to wear. And it goes really well with her royal gown. Wow! Wow, that's just magical. Now in this drawing, the glitter is in gold. Because the treasure chest is filled with gold coins. Now it's your turn to make your drawing sparkle. Choose a magical design and make it shine. Yes! Thanks to this technique, I finally found a new look that I've been styling lately. What do you think of me in some hip-hop bling? Uh, I'm an eco-artist who sings and shines. Take care of the environment because it's mad. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Have you ever seen these at home and wonder what they are? Until not so long ago, pictures were taken with cameras like these that use rolls of film. In order to see the pictures, one had to go to a place that would turn this into photographs. And with the photographs, they could make up a photo album, which are books made up only of pictures. Now tell me, can you imagine a photo album with pictures of a princess's voyage? Here it is. The crown with a princess. And it tells of all her adventures. Look. Here is she's having a sunny day out at the pool. Here is the princess's first time learning a gymnastic move. The princess hanging out with her friends in the park. And here she is trying her hand at fishing for the first time. It's really easy to make an album to keep all your photographs that capture the best moments in your adventures so far. This is how it's done. Draw a crown on grey cardboard. Make three big peaks, like this, with circles on top of each for the precious stones. Draw a smaller crown in the centre. On one side, make two dots for the holes. Cut the inner crown and it should look like this. To make the holes, just put a little bit of soft modeling clay underneath and apply pressure with the tip of a pencil. Now, trace the crown onto another piece of cardboard but without the center crown. Cut the piece out and you now have the front cover and back cover of our album. To make the pages, trace the contours of the crown on different pieces of cardboard in your choice of colors. Awesome! We now have all the parts we need for our album. The front cover, the back cover, and the pages. But before we put them together, we must paint the princess's crown. So here comes the extra fun part. Paint the covers using your favorite colors. We'll use yellow here because it looks like gold. Use a white paintbrush so that we can color it more evenly. Nice! 
paint the circles blue to make them appear like precious and dazzling jewels. Once the paint has dried, color the back of the crown. Apply shade to the crown using crayons. This will give it a shiny look. Use orange for the edges and corners. We're almost there. Now draw long lines with a white crayon. These will be reflections of our crown's gold. Also use the white crayon to make our precious jewels shine too. It turned out amazing! Look! You can stick your picture inside the crown that we made so that your photograph will be on the cover. And on the back is painted with paints and crayons in the same technique to complete the look of the album. In order to bind your album so that it looks like a book, you can reuse ribbons. String them through these holes and make a knot. If a princess crown album doesn't suit you, how about this? A pirate hat! <gasps> You can keep the pictures of your most exciting adventures with the main pirate on the cover. And take a look at this. The third album. The cover shows a treasure map. And here is the treasure hunter's picture. Now it's your turn. Create photo albums to organize your photographs so that you and your friends will be able to enjoy the memories of your best adventures. The album would be like a picture storybook. Go on, check this out. We'll, we'll see you again tomorrow. We'll attack you. Let's all attack. Bye.